taking shortcuts and not following established safe operating procedures can have serious consequences when tipping a tipper semi-trailer. Every operator of such equipment should bear in mind the following advice to minimize the risks and ensure the safety of the operator and other personnel. And it can also prevent serious damage and injuries. Following some simple rules of proper use starts with the loading operation. The trailer should not be loaded if it is disconnected from the tractor, otherwise the trailer may overturn. The load should be evenly distributed in the tipper body, also to reduce the risk of the semi-trailer overturning while driving or subsequent unloading. Before starting the unloading, the semi-trailer and the tractor should be placed on firm level ground and both vehicles should be aligned. It is unacceptable to unload while the semi-trailer is positioned at an angle to the tractor. Before starting to tip, it must be checked if when fully lifted, it will be well clear of other objects. For example, overhead power lines, trees, etc. Before lifting the body, the semi-trailer pneumatic suspension should also be lowered. The unloading should be performed in a continuous and fluent manner without unnecessary increase in the engine RPM. It must be checked if material sliding off the tipper floor is not blocked at the end of the tipper body, as this might lead to the overturning of the vehicle. If the load becomes blocked while the body is lifted, it is forbidden to jerk the tipper body or drive in the lifted position. Such practices can very often cause serious accidents. It should be strongly emphasized that the cylinder is designed to lift and lower the tipper body and is therefore not contributing to the vehicle's stability. During the tipper operation, a cylinder should not be subjected to the effect of lateral forces. A tipping cylinder should not remain extended for longer than 30 minutes. After unloading the trailer, the cylinder should be lowered to the very end. And after one minute, the tipping control lever should be shifted to the neutral position. It is prohibited for safety reasons to go under a lifted, unsupported tipper body. Care for proper condition of the hydraulic system will guarantee a long, trouble-free operation of the tipper system. It is not recommended to allow unauthorized personnel to work on the hydraulic system, especially any adjustments to the pressure settings. Every cylinder should be operated with correct pressure, which does not exceed the maximum allowed working pressure determined by the manufacturer. This value is specified on the type plate of every Hoover cylinder. It is also essential to check regularly the oil level in the hydraulic system. The oil tank should contain enough oil to allow maximum extension of the cylinder. The type of oil should be properly selected for the intended use and climate. The oil should be changed once a year. Daily inspection should include checking the condition of the hydraulic hose connecting the cylinder with the hydraulic system, verifying the correct connection of quick-release couplings, the condition of brackets fixing the cylinder, lubricating the pivot points and tightening the bolts fixing the brackets. Compliance with these guidelines will result in the operator avoiding dangerous situations which may lead to severe damage of the equipment and in some cases to fatal accidents.